do. Josh, if you want to get us started. Thanks, Lou. Thank you all for being here this afternoon uh, or being on the Zoom call. I look forward to seeing you all in person here very soon, hopefully uh, in the very near future. Um, I've been on the job now six months almost, and uh, and I think in our introductory press conference, we, we mentioned that we want to ch win championships in every sport, every sport we have. And any of you that know me personally know that track is a sport that's close to my heart. Um, it's a sport I love and, and I enjoy watching. And um, so as, as this opportunity came available, it was important to me that we go all in and go after a championship caliber coach. And you've all seen by now uh, Coach Smith Gilbert's bio and all of our accomplishments, her, her very impressive career, especially most of what she's done here just this last year alone. Um, but I can tell you this, um, as strong as her bio is and her credentials, she's even that much better of a person. And that's what really blew me away with her and her family, getting to know her husband, Greg, and um, I can't think of a better person in the country that I want leading our program, uh, the strong foundation we have now, but where we can get to and where we're gonna go. And I'm excited about our future. Um, she's a leader, she's a motivator. She cares about her student athletes. Um, we're, we're so excited to have her here. We told you we're committed to winning. We're committed to winning championships. We know that under her leadership, we can win multiple championships, not just, um, not just in NCAA championships, but SEC championships as well. So we're excited. I cannot, I can't think of a better day to be a Georgia Bulldog than today. And I want to introduce you to our new director of men's, women's track and field and cross country, Coach Carol Smith Gilbert. Hello, how's everyone? Good. Um, I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Josh. The, the biggest reason I'm here is because of, of you, because of Josh and, and, and his vision of UGA and UGA track and field and, and all of the sports. I think it's important to be a part of a program where all the sports are important and cared for. And from day one, uh, Josh talked to me and my family and made us feel comfortable, um, not just with, with being a coach, but being people and, and, uh, and being a family, coming into a, your family. So I really appreciate everything and I, I, I'm honored to even be considered in the conversation and be a part of the SEC and, and the UGA family. All right, thank you, Coach. And at this time, we'll get started with some questions. Uh, Mark Weiser, if you wanna start us off. Hey, Coach, I'm Mark Weiser with the Athens Banner Herald. Congratulations. Can you hear me? Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay. Um, uh, curious, why are you making this move given the, the uh, success you had at, at USC? And did you have any connection between you and Georgia and the administration? Um, and, uh, you know, your meetings with Josh, you talked highly of him. Was that via Zoom or did you meet in person? Um, you know, I think USC is a great place. And, and uh, you know, I love USC, but I think it was just time for me to go into a a, a, a more intense conference for track and field and to be competitive throughout the South. I know my recruiting um, is kind of aimed Florida, North Carolina, Texas, Georgia. So I spent more time out of my suitcase than I did at home. <laughs> so that would be an easier thing to do for me as far as logistics are concerned. But I, I've always wanted to be, I was at Alabama and Tennessee, and I always wanted to be a head coach in the SEC. As far as connections within the program, uh, Dr. Magdi El Shahawi was my sport administrator at USC, but we didn't have very many conversations about it previous to this. Um, and uh, I just talked to Josh on the phone after he contacted USC to ask if they could speak to me. Um, we had a couple conversations here and there, but I wasn't able to see it in person. I just know for sure, because I looked online and saw the facilities and I, I read about um, current events and I see the, the $90 million facility that just opened for football. And I'm looking at all of the, the nice things that I, and the graphics and all of the new plans that are underway. And I just felt like I wanted to be a part of it. Anthony Dasher, did you want to have a, ask a question? 
Yes, I do. Uh, hi, Coach. This is Anthony Dasher of uh, UGASports.com. Uh, welcome to Athens. I know we haven't gotten here yet, but welcome you. anyway. Uh, you, mentioned, <laughs> you mentioned facilities a second ago, and that's kind of been a, a topic of conversation you know, about this position a little bit. How much of that kind of talk did you have with Josh about what kind of what's to come, how things are now? Um, yeah, he and I touched on the topic because it was a bit of a sticking point previously, but if you know what I know and you come from LA and there are, there is no land, right? <laughs> I don't know if that's a problem for me, let's say that. Mm -hmm. um, because we have, we're very landlocked at USC and there can't be a whole lot I could complain about based on what I've been through. But um, from what I can tell, there are, the, and I've been there a couple of times, it's been upgraded and I know there are plans to do more in the, in the future. Um, so it wasn't a sticking point for me per se. And Josh, just kind of follow up with you just a little bit, kind of, can you elaborate maybe on some of the plans you have in mind for the track program as far as facilities go? Well, Dash, you know, we mentioned at the board meeting in May, or I guess it was in May, that uh, mm -hmm. we're already starting the process of renovating spaces in the Butts Mirror to, to give track their own locker room, coaches' offices, and a lounge for our student athletes, which would be then adjacent to our current track. And we feel really good about the improvements we've made um, with that indoor facility with the six lane the sprint lanes, the triple jump, long jump pit, the high jump pit, and then the pole vault pit, and that functional area to train in its proximity. Not only that, but we're taking the um, former football uh, sports medicine area and converting that to a space that will serve multiple sports. So we feel like we're, we've got some upgrades on progress right now, and we're going to take a deep look this summer into the next five to seven year plan for our, you know, strategic vision future for all facilities, you know, softball, baseball, everything. So um, we'll look at all potential, you know, possibilities moving forward, but we're excited about um, what we're, what we're doing in the immediate future right now. Thank you. Ken, did you have a question? I did. Uh, Coach, my name is Ken Segear. I write for the Journal Constitution. I'm actually pinch hitting Hi. our beat writer. Um, so you may not see me too much going forward. But um, I was curious, kind of when did you first hear from, from Josh or representative of Georgia? And kind of what was your first kind of thought? Because obviously you're at a place where you've proven that you can win. And so what was kind of your deliberations internally as far as you know, you're interested. You, you touched on wanting to come to the SEC, but or thinking about it, but just kind of how how did that go internally for you? Um, well, you know, Georgia's always been very prestigious in, in the track community. They've always had great athletes in history. Uh, Gwen Torrance was actually a, she's actually a mentor of mine, so I know very well about the University of Georgia. Um, I believe it was right after the Pac-12 championship. Um, my AD told me that there was a call for me and that's when I started kind of looking into things and, you know, you want to get through the championship season. So I kind of turned things over to my agent because I had to focus on what I have to do. But when I had a little free time here and there, I'd look and, you know, on the website and see what I could find out and check things out. And then I was able to have a conversation a little bit after regionals. So I, I started thinking more and more about it and you know, considering where I was and, and what was going on with me personally and my family or uh, inside of my own program, which is nothing was wrong, but I just felt like the opportunity to win championships is going to be uh, more advantageous at UGA. All right, let's see. Uh, Brandon Suds, do you have a question? Uh, hey, uh, this is... Uh... Brandon uh, Saj, I'm uh, some of the uh, t t telegraph and uh, Macon. Um, can you uh, speak on the historical point um, um, of your hire? Um, it's the first uh, woman um, it's in uh, school history to uh, lead a uh, and uh, sport, and then also with uh, Joni uh, Taylor is the second uh, uh, well, black uh, f f female uh, coach in athletics here. Yes, I, I think it's a very historical moment, and I I commend um, President Moorhead and Josh for bringing me in. 
to be a part of this uh, trailblazing opportunity, I should say. Um, I'm excited about it. And I think it's an opportunity to open more doors. So athletic directors and staffs and, and, and schools and universities can see uh, the success we can have. We don't want to be I never wanted to be termed as a, as if the best female coach or the best black female coach. I just want to be the best coach. I want to be the greatest coach of all time. So if I don't, if I'm not afforded the opportunity, then that will never happen. But I want to do that. So there are a lot of young people that are looking up and women can see that you can do it, but also men, because men need to see that women can do it. So when they're in a position of power, they'll feel comfortable hiring us as well. And then, uh, Josh, if you can follow up on that, I know um, over your six months as athletic director, uh, you guys hired uh, Courtney uh, Gay as well for uh, diversity. I mean, can you just speak on the um, historical marker and I guess kind of looking outside of the box in a way. Yeah, thanks, Sudge. We were uh, actually uh, reflecting on that today because some of our early hires, um, we hired Co Dr. Courtney Gay in December as our assistant AD to ver for diversity, equity, inclusion, and innovation. Um, my first actual hire was promoting Doris Griffin to my senior deputy AD. And then I followed it up with hiring Darlene Camacho as my senior associate AD. Uh, for strategic communications and now my first head coach is Kara Smith Gilbert and I don't think it was intentional to um, you know check any boxes or anything like that but I think when you have an open mind and you really seek after the best people and you don't just think in one small category you see that there are a bunch of talented females and females of color and I'm proud of that and I, and I do hope we are opening doors because I want young young girls and young women in this community to understand that they can be Coach Carol Smith Gilbert one day. So I'm proud of, of the women that we've brought in here at the University of Georgia and the example they're setting. And I think that it's a byproduct of just looking for the best people when you find the best people and it, it just works out that way. But I'm very proud and I think that um, we are blazing trails and I think, um, I think it's gonna be great for the future. And I think it's a responsibility in all of us. I think it's a responsibility on Coach Carol, it's a responsibility on myself that we start developing the next Carols because um, we've got to develop that pool. So um, I'm proud of it. I think it's, uh, it's an important part of what, why we do what we do. But, um, you know, my mission was to find the best people. And it just so happens it worked out that way. But I'm proud of the people we brought in. And, and I'm excited about the future for all of them. Ken, did you have another question? I did. I had a question for Josh. Um, I just wanted to double check on kind of the timing. I mean, obviously, uh, would I would I be accurate to assume to understand that you understood there'd be a coaching change well far before you know that we got to this point with the at the NCAs? Yeah, Ken, I had the idea early um, earlier this spring, and I wanted to be respectful. My first goal was to be respectful of our team and get through the season and, and do the best we could. So I wanted to create as few distractions for my for my team, but also for any coach I'd look at, I I want to be respectful of their season as well. So that's why. Um, I waited till as late as possible, really getting through a conference to, to reach out to um, ADs and, and, and seek that, uh, you know, let them know that I'd be reaching out to talk to some different candidates. But I want to be respectful of that. But, yeah, it was, it was early on. But that afforded me a lot of time to do a lot of research and um, really get my ducks in a row for later in the year. Mark Weiser from the Athens Banner Herald. Do you have another one? Yeah, I have another one or two. Um, Josh, how significant do you view um, your first Georgia head coaching hire in terms of um, obviously you, you're going to be making uh, a lot of uh, coaching hires in, in the years ahead, but this is your always be your first one. Uh, it's extremely significant, Mark. And um, and that was, you know, quite frankly, that was one of my pitches to Coach Carroll was you're my first hire. There's no way there's no way I'm not going to let you be successful. We're going to be successful in. I look, I told you early on, I want to win in all 21 sports. If we start a badminton team tomorrow, we're going to win championships in that. And I know I say it's a joke, but I mean that. Um, and I, I love them all, but track is a special sport to me. Anyone that follows me on Twitter, you've seen how many weekends I've spent at my kids' track meets, and I love the sport. <laughs> it's a great sport to watch. I would encourage more of our fans to get out there and, and keep up with it because really 
it's really dynamic. And, and just to witness what um, our staff that went out there in Oregon this last weekend, to witness what we saw in person, some of the amazing feats, um, it really is an amazing sport. And to get to see these collegiate athletes compete at this level, and then now that know that so many of those same athletes are competing in trials the next few weeks, it's amazing. But um, circling back to your question, Mark, I'm sorry I digressed a second. This is extremely important to me. Your first one, and um, the, you know, when you're a young administrator and you're thinking about your first, when you become an AD, obviously I had hires at Millsaps and other stops along the way, but being here at Georgia, this hire was extremely important to me. That's why we went all in and we shot for the moon and I wasn't going to take any, uh, you know, went all in for the best coach we could have in the country. And there weren't going to be any excuses about selling anything less than that. And if I could ask Carol, uh, I guess just reading your bio, uh, I guess you, your husband uh, works in development at, at USC and, and your son is on the football team. Um, what, what are the plans? Was that part of the conversations to, to have um, him? Well, yeah, my husband is on the development team. He has an MBA, so he can pretty much go everywhere, wherever he wants and do what he does. And he can talk to anybody, uh, anywhere. Um, and my middle son Spencer is a linebacker he plans to stay at USC as far as I know um, that was as of today <laughs> and he plans to stay there and do his job he loves USC football and he made a commitment so that's where he is thanks Anthony Dasher from ujsports.com yeah coach uh, uh, I was just curious uh, if you had much time to kind of uh, explore the student athletes uh, you're going to be inheriting and kind of what your, some of your initial thoughts on them. Oh, I've had a little time. Uh, this is all happening in the middle of the championship, but, you know, I watch them all the time and they're, they're phenomenal. Um, great kids. I recruited a lot of them. So I know them personally and their families. So uh, I think it'll be a pretty good transition um, from me being there to me coming here because most of them I, I know already, it, you know, with the internet and the way things are now in recruiting, you pretty much know most of the kids and you're able to have good relationships with them. Even when I don't sign them, I still say hello and we're very cordial. So it wouldn't be too bad. Thanks. This time we'll open up any questions. If uh, you will, when you ask questions, just a reminder, please give your name and your uh, media group. 